So today I'll show you easiest way how you can check if liquidity from some project is locked and of course for how long is locked so you don't get rook pulled anymore. And please remember that I'm not financial advisor and everything in this video is made only for entertaining purposes and also if liquidity is locked for a long period of time that doesn't mean that you will not lose your money because they could have a lot of tokens still and they could slow rook pull you. So like you can all see Bitcoin rise over 10% in last 7 days which which means that there are a lot of new tokens that are like mushrooms when market is green. So from now on I will focus my channel to teach you how you can protect yourself and how you can see if something is sketchy. So that's why today I'm teaching you how to check liquidity. And if you are interested to see more how you can protect yourself, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video. So basically way how I'm going to show you strategy how to check liquidity, I will just go simply and take those biggest gainers. I don't know those projects so please don't buy it, I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just taking them for example. So for example, you took this kitty fighter because it grow a lot in last day. So you click on it, you take Binar Smart Chain, you probably just check their Okay, this is not a good project, but we're gonna check liquidity anyway. Their volume is pretty, pretty high. I don't know why. It's probably a lot of bots, but never mind. Let's go. Let's check their project. Let's check their chart. So, like you can see, their liquidity is only $900. So, let me try to explain on simplest way what is liquidity. Basically, this is some sort of security when you are trading your coin that you won't be affected a lot by price impact. So, for example, if if I want to buy it, since this is really really small liquidity pool, what will happen when I try to buy 1 BNB of that token, you will see that price impact is 36%. Which means if I actually want to buy it with 1 BNB, I will not actually buy it with this price which is right now, my price will actually be 36% higher. Or also another explanation, if you want to sell your tokens, for example over here LP is only $686, if someone for example want to sell every single token which they have, maximum what they will get is those $700. So it's impossible to get more than what is in LP. So that's why, for example, when you don't check your liquidity for how long is locked and when devs rook pull you, that means that they took all this liquidity out and over here is, for example, zero dollars. That means no matter how much tokens you sell, when LP is zero, you will get zero. So that's some quick explanation for all of you who don't know. And right now I will explain you how you can actually check liquidity. So first thing, easiest way how you can do it is when you're over here on PooCoin, over here you have holders. But what you want to do, you want to go on higher liquidity pool and over here you will see holders. You click on this and right now you are on BSC scan and you can see that they have 8 holders which have their liquidity and higher wallet for example is this one with 67%. So over here you can see that this is contract address and that means that this over here, that this liquidity is locked. So guy who owned this address, he can take this liquidity out until this is unlocked. For example, there is another address which have 16% and basically this guy can take his liquidity out anytime. So this is not good, this is good, but now is question for how long this is locked. It could be for one hour, it could be for three years for example. So you go over here, you click on that address and over here you can see lock tokens. What you want to do next, you go, you click on this and now you go over here in logs. When you click over here, you scroll down and here it's saying unlock time. So this number you probably don't know what that means but you can copy that. When you copy this you go in Google and you type Unix time stamp. You search it. If you want I will leave this link in description so you don't need to go in Google and look for it. You can just go in description and over here you just paste that number which you just copied and you click on convert. So right now over here you can see that that liquidity pool will be open in seven months. Of course this is really low LP that doesn't mean anything to you because someone just put like $500 in that LP and lock it so this is bad project but if this is better project you would actually see for how long is locked and until then they cannot take their liquidity out. So, so now I want to show you once again but with another contract. So let's go in biggest gainers and let's check for example Ninja Floki. So we go, we copy 
copied their address, we put it in pool coin, and over here you can see that their liquidity pool is bigger, it's around 10% from their market cap, which is a good sign, and then we go to holders to check for how long it's locked, and you can see over here that first contract with 73% is locked, and another contract is burn address. What does this mean? Basically, that means that they burn their liquidity. So when they have a lot of liquidity burn, that's usually a good sign, because they cannot rook pull this amount over here, those 25%. But let's check their contract, which is locked. So you click on this, you see over here, it doesn't say lock token. So that doesn't mean anything. So don't be confused. Then we click over here, we go to logs. And for example, this one, you don't have those numbers, which you can copy. You have just these numbers, which you probably don't know what they mean. So what you do, you go to hex, you press on number. And over here, now you will have your numbers. You copy this, you go to timestamp, which I already showed you, you pass those number. And over here, you can see that liquidity will be open in four months. So for me, to be completely honest, I don't like that. Based only on liquidity, I would probably not invest in it. But like I said, I have no clue what is this project. I'm just trying to show you how you can control liquidity and do some research before you invest. Of course, sometimes it's going to happen that you do all steps right. But when you go to logs and when you try to search for that number over here, it will not show. Basically, a lot of times that happen and things which you want to do then is basically go to their telegram speak with devs usually for all new tokens devs are pretty active and they will tell you where they lock it so then you need to go to unicrypt pink sale or wherever they lock liquidity and you go and you check over there also sometimes even over here when you go in their liquidity holders you can see for example unicrypt lock and basically then you just go there and then you control it. If you have any other questions, be pleased to go to my telegram. I am pretty active over there. I'm always there to help you. And if I help you with this video and you really want to support me, in description, I have a link from my Binance refall. Basically, you are getting 20% off fees for every sell or buy you made. And this is actually best you can find on Binance. So you will not find anything better than this. So last year, I was doing challenge how much money I can make from refall code and things where I invested that money. So I want to start that again. And if we get enough people, I'm going to make challenge how much money I can make in 2022, where I'm showing you what I'm buying and so and so if you follow my last challenge when I done this with Binance basically we bought so much Luna at price of four so that was somewhere over here I remember it was 4.5 and Luna went to all-time high of $100 so we would make a lot of money if I didn't sold my Luna when price was 12. So if you want me to do this again, go in the description, use my code for Binance. You will help yourself a lot with it and you will help me produce content. So please do it and see you guys in next video.